I'm always kind of confused by guys who drop out of seminary and are married like within the year. That means they were like on the market for a grand total of three months before they landed the woman they were gonna marry. And I've been on the market like my whole life. What am I doing wrong? That's it, that's, that's what I'm doing wrong. When I was in high school, I sang in the choir. We went on a choir tour to San Francisco. Does anything about that sentence surprise you? During some like mandatory fun time, my friend snuck us away from everybody else because she wanted to see where the hippies lived. We asked directions from this guy who was clearly high on some form of cocaine. And we took a bus to the corner of Haight Street and Ashbury, basically ground zero for the hippie movement in San Francisco. And we felt so cool. We went to this coffee shop called Coffee to the People. The tables had like vintage nuclear protest stickers lacquered into the top. The ceiling on one side was sloped because there was a staircase to goes up to the second floor and there were like politically provocative bumper stickers all up and down that slanted ceiling. The whole place smelled like incense and in the back there was a bookshelf that had things like how to redo the plumbing in your whole house, a complete biography of Che Guevara. I was clearly the outsider in this situation. So I went up to the counter and I ordered something that would make me look like I belonged there. I ordered a white mocha with whipped cream and sprinkles. Yeah, they offered me sprinkles. It instantly became my favorite coffee shop. I've been telling this story for the last 10 years. So after one year of living in the San Francisco Bay Area, I figured it was time to visit this place again. And wow, did it change management and sell out. First of all, this is what it looks like now. It's like they hired somebody to help them with their branding. Guys, being you was your branding. They had to repaint the place, which meant they had to strip down all the bumper stickers, and they tried to recreate it on a less interesting wall, but it's, it's, it's just a bunch of Bernie Sanders stickers. The place had Wi-Fi. The speakers were blasting this XM radio station that played Coldplay three times while I was there. I like Coldplay, but that should never happen at a place called Coffee to the people. Couldn't find the Che Guevara book where I looked for it. Didn't even bother asking for sprinkles. A sad little white mocha had whipped cream on it from a can. The new coffee shop made an effort to put stuff on the wall. Stuff that reminded you that this place had a sort of history. The actual experience of the place had nothing to do with that history. It was all like, come in, be comfortable. Don't encounter any person or idea that's different from you. Make sure to leave completely unchanged and with no compelling reason to come back. Unless you're the kind of guy that likes other people to think of you as the kind of guy that goes to coffee shops with bumper stickers on the wall. Socialist coffee shops are supposed to be a tiny bit scary, especially for a Catholic like rule following goody good like me. You should be able to feel how much the people and ideas are very much not you. The very scripted action of walking in and ordering and sitting down can actually teach you a lot about what radical socialists are, including the fact that they're actually really friendly and like that you are there, but also how the fact that you're there in no way tempts them to change who they are. They will gladly welcome you and they might even teach you by coming down to your level, but they will never change themselves to be more palatable to you. All of this with the hospitality of sprinkles. You might disagree with the politics on the stickers on the wall, and you might really dislike Che Guevara, but you can appreciate the integrity with which they hold their beliefs. You can enjoy the simple purity with which they are who they are. Even if you're not converted, which they would love, you leave changed and expanded by the action of grappling with new ideas, discerning for yourself whether these ideas are remotely close to true. And you leave so impacted that you're willing to make the drive back even 10 years later. So my question for you, tell me in the comm boxes, the Catholic church you go to, does it look more like the old coffee shop or the new coffee shop? I'll see you in the comm boxes. Bonus question for all of my commenters, your faith and your life. Does it look more like the old coffee shop or the new coffee shop?